with a new batch of photographs being sent back to Earth via NASA's new Perseverance rover. Amateur researchers have been coming through them, and some have said they found some interesting anomalies. There's some that believe that Mars was once a planet that hosted life, although NASA and other space agencies have said this isn't true and that they've never found evidence to back up these claims. Amateur researchers have said they've discovered artifacts on the red planet, and they look similar to things like crafts and buildings. It's these finds that have led some to spending countless hours in the hopes of finding something, and someone has claimed they found something interesting in one of the photographs sent back by the new Perseverance rover. This person said that in the background of this image you can see what looks like a silver disc, noting that whatever this thing is it stands out against the backdrop of Mars. This image was sent to me by a man called Mark, and he said it had just been posted to various UFO groups. Amateur researchers use these groups as a way of quickly sharing these kinds of photos, and those who saw it said it does look like an unidentified flying object. And before I carry on, as mentioned before, it's important to note that NASA have said they've never found a UFO on Mars, and that these images can be explained using camera anomalies or pareidolia, but that hasn't stopped people from looking through these types of photographs in the hopes of finding something. Those that have seen this image agreed with the poster in that it looks like there's definitely something there, saying that if it's a UFO, how did it get there? One person said the following on one of the groups. I'm not the person who found this image, but I've seen similar looking ones in the past. There's no denying that this object looks like a disc, and you can even see it reflecting the light. While using the Mars app, I've also found some strange anomalies. I agree that some of these are pareidolia, but there's some that look too real for them to be rocks. In my opinion, I don't know how this shiny disc could be a rock. I'd be interested to know if the Perseverance rover has the ability to travel over there and investigate what this thing is." End quote. Well, this person said the following, These missions cost us billions and billions of dollars, and this blurry image is the best thing we're able to capture. Why does it seem that rovers have the worst cameras attached to them? They also seem to blur out certain areas on Mars that they don't want people to see. Why can't we get a decent photograph of Mars? Why do they always have that horrible orange-red filter over them? One of the funny things about this is that NASA have even admitted on their website that they place a filter on the photographs that make them look red. The thing is, when you edit these photographs back to neutral, there's so many more anomalies that you're able to pick up on. It makes you wonder if that's the reason they do it. End quote. Other UFO researchers said that seeing unidentified flying objects above Mars isn't anything new, and various photographs have been presented in the past which show different shaped objects hovering above the rovers. Some of the most commonly shaped objects seen are the triangle cigar and disc. Interestingly, some NASA officials have said it's good when these types of photographs are presented, as it gives them the opportunity to educate people about what they're actually seeing. Joy Crisp, who was the Curiosity's Deputy Project Scientist of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said that when this happens it gets people talking and looking at Mars images, and this in turn generates more interest in projects happening on the Red Planet. It's not just unidentified flying objects that people have seen on Mars. There's also some that believe Mars is actually home to living creatures, and one of these comes in the form of a creature that looks like a large snake. This photograph shows what theorists state is a snake between some rocks. As with most of these images, when it was shared it quickly went viral, with those who saw it wanting answers for what it was. NASA was quick to speak out about this one, and said that what people are seeing is nothing special. They used pareidolia as an answer for what people were seeing, and said that eroded rocks can take on the form of things like animals. Interestingly enough, NASA scientists have said there's over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. There's hundreds of millions of galaxies, all teeming with millions or billions of planets. This makes the likelihood of there being life in our universe very high. 
This is why NASA and other space agencies are now making it their goal to visit various systems, and this is in the hopes of finding life. It's likely it will happen. The question is when and how long will it take? For all we know there could be life only a couple of million miles away, whereas it might be hundreds of billions of miles away, and when you're talking about space billions of miles is a very small distance. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the red planet, the odds of this observation seem to be more and more promising with the passing years, as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. This has led many researchers to theorise that the formation of these bacteria could have taken place over millions of years, as well as the fact that they could have at one point in time existed far more complex life on the surface of Mars, before the complete removal of its atmosphere, leading to a number of extremophiles still existing on the Martian surface today. So what do you make of this recent photograph that was captured by NASA's new Perseverance rover? Do you think it shows an object in the shape of a disc? Or do you think it's just a rock or a camera anomaly? Also, do you think we've ever captured anything on the Martian surface that could suggest there was once life there? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.